In this video, we'll be exploring Magic Hour, an amazing new AI tool that can generate videos up to 60 seconds long. They also give you 100 free credits every day, so you can try it out completely free. Magic Hour offers video generation with image to video, text to video, video to video, and even lip sync. They also have an image generator with all the tools you need to edit your images, all under one roof. To get started, just click on Create for Free Now. I'll go ahead and generate some images so you can see the quality. Overall, the quality looks good with very nice details and high resolution results. Next, we have a supercar on the open road, which came out great as well. And lastly, we have a floating island, which looks really nice and highly detailed. So as you can see, the image generation Magic Hour offers is very good and high quality. Next, we'll test out the video generator. We'll start with the image to video feature. If you use 480p resolution, you can add a first and last frame and generate videos up to 10 seconds long. But if you choose 720p resolution, you won't be able to add any end frames, but now you can generate videos up to 60 seconds long. For this demo, I'll use 720p and upload the image of the magician. Set the video length to 15 seconds, add the prompt, the magician is casting a spell, and click generate. While that's rendering, I'll also make a video of the supercar driving down the road and another one of the floating island. Generation time is about 10 minutes per video, but the good thing is you can generate multiple videos at the same time. Now to show you the quality of this video generator. First, the floating island. It came out great. Just a nice motion video of the island floating in midair with some birds flying around. Next, we have the sports car driving on the road, and it looks great. There's no motion blur, and it's a solid video. Lastly, we have the magician casting a spell, and this video came out looking great too. Everything flows nicely. There's no blur or distortion that you normally see with video generators when they generate videos over eight seconds long. Next, we'll test the text to video feature and see how it compares to the image to video. Here you have the same options. For 480p, you can generate up to 10 second videos. And for 720p, you can render up to 60 second long videos. Under resolution, you can choose square, landscape, or portrait. I'll go with landscape and 720p resolution, and this time we'll do a 30 second video. I'll use the same prompts we used earlier to generate the images, but I optimize them a bit so they work better as video prompts than image prompts. I'll first generate the floating island video, then the sports car on the road, and finally, the magician casting a spell. The video generation time is now around 20 minutes per video. And now that all three have finished generating, here are the results. First, the magician video. It came out nice overall. There was a small glitch here and there, but I think it still looks great and very high quality. Next, we have the video of the sports car. This one didn't come out that well. The car drives backward and then changes into a different car, which is a common issue with AI video generators when it comes to car movement. And last, we have the floating island video, and this one looks amazing. Really good quality and cinematic feel. Definitely the best of the three. Now to show you the 60 second long video I generated using this image of a battle scene. I wanted to see how well it would show the battlegrounds. Overall, it actually came out really well, especially considering that most AI video generators usually fail when making longer videos and just turn everything into a complete mess, blending things together. But this one looks nice and has a smooth cinematic flow to it.
last feature of Magic Hour I want to show you is the lip sync feature. Let's try adding lip sync to this wizard video as he's casting a spell. Now, the really nice thing about this lip sync generator, something you don't usually see in other tools, is that you can actually choose which part of the video you want to lip sync. So, if you only want to lip sync a certain section, you can do that, which is really useful. For this demo, I'm going to lip sync the whole video. Under the face mask settings, I'll choose stable because it works better for faces with beards. Then click next step. Here you can upload an audio file or just enter some text for the lips to sync with. I already have an audio file ready, so I'll upload that, then click generate video. It'll take about six minutes to process the lip sync. And here's the result. By the ancient power of the stars and the flame of eternity, I summon the light of magic to banish the shadows. No darkness shall stand before me, for I am the master. Very nice lip sync, real movement of the lips. And honestly, it's some of the best I've seen so far. Hope you got value from this video and enjoyed exploring Magic Hour with me. Don't forget to like this video. And if you want to learn more about AI tools and content creation, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.